All right, folks, God bless you guys. Welcome to This Is It, 4321. So, honestly, if you look at the world, can you tell the end of the world's here? Is it easy to tell now? Can you see it? Can you see the gender takeover? In the end, a woman will compass a man. Have you seen it? Are you watching what's going on? Are you seeing the female energy just taking over the whole system like a monster? No one knows their gender anymore. The attacks on state capitals because... The LGBTQ community is in like a civil war. The gays and, you know, and lesbians are against the trans community. They're in like a civil war. Have you, have you seen what's going on? It's fascinating. It's an energy takeover. Anyway, so the future is female. Remember, the future is female. You've seen it plastered on walls, on buildings. There's been marches. Um... We're watching the manifestation of the word just happening right in front of us. Remember I told you that everything's about this twin female energy coming up out of the pit, taking over? 2X. How many videos have you seen where I've told you it's 2X? 2X. We are 2X. The dragon has 2Xs on his eyes. The band, uh, the warning, the three girls, everybody must die. And they have 2X on their eyes, right? Shows the serpent coming up, all that stuff. It's all the same. Uh, Ozzy Osbourne's demon come, twin female coming up out of the pit, joining together, making the serpent. Eyes are X's. You know, it's just like, it's so obvious now, right? Uh-huh. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I just opened my email and I had a skate shop called Zoomies. Well, Zoomies has all the new clothing brands that kids wear. I, I, I bought my kids skateboards there. And uh, so I get the emails because we used to be part of the rewards program, right? Let me show you the 2X race, like the Adidas original. I always show you they're the upside down race. They're all hanging upside down. You know, the Adidas original commercial, the girls hanging upside down in the sack. The, the guys are hanging upside down, you know, with their arms crossed. It's always the same thing. Adidas original, the upside down. I told you it's the twin female energy, the dragon and the Vatican, 2Xs on each eye. It's always the same thing, right? 2X, 2X, 2X. Twin female, twin female. Be in Bud Light commercial. Oh, everybody here's a twin. Yeah, Ian, come on into the twin female party. Hi, uh, we're the girls that are dressed as vaginas from the Women's March in Austin. Y'all know what I'm talking about if you watch this channel. Uh, how long did it take you to make your costume? Since they've been getting enough time. Because the whole world really is a drag show. Because Satan has dressed himself up in a cloak, a host body. So just think of the whole host body system as a drag show. And Satan's occupying it. The sins of the flesh. That's why you got to turn back to God and get converted. See, your body, you're going to die no matter what. You're going to die. But God, the Lord God, Jesus, he can regenerate you by having you be born again. So when you die, you're perpetual. You leave here. You go back to your, your creator. But see, everyone's under this illusion. Oh, you know, I'm going to be fine if I do more good than bad. No, no, no. You have to literally turn back the opposite direction. It's all directional. Heaven's up, hell is down. Good is up, evil is down. Light is up, dark is down. Cain and Abel, Cain and Abel. Esau and Jacob. You know, the whole thing's about twins. Have you seen it now? You figured out? I'm going to prove it right now. I'm going to open up my Zoomies ad right now. And we'll just open up clothing lines. Let's just look at the Zoomies clothing line, right? Let's do that. Okay, this is a video we're going to do here in just a minute. Okay, here's Lurking Class. So I just got the new, hey, come get the new Lurking Class clothing. <laughs> Check this out. Look, look right here. Okay, watch this. Okay, so first of all, let's look at the views. Okay, so what's coming up out of the, what's coming up out of the pit? 2x see the x right here look at the x on the bottle 2x coming up let's look on the let's look on the other side oh no way <laughs> look at the upside down uh, skull right but it's got another set of eyes because it's two it's the uh, it's the other you know part of you that was taken to the pit coming up because this represents one one entity the upside down one that caught the other one the right side up one and now it's coming up out of the pit that's what's going on that's what's happening in the whole world right now, you guys. Okay, so tonight on Odyssey, I'm doing this kind of a special flip-out report on the, the takeover as being a spiritual male versus female energy takeover. And so that's not going to make it on this channel. It will, it will never survive this, this 
this platform. Anyway, but so now let me share with you what I'm going to do right now. During the pandemic, David Bowie um, came into our public view uh, through some of the stuff the Lord showed me that Omicron was a video game made by David Bowie and his team, and it was cutting edge way back at the beginning of video games, and it was called Omicron. And when you go in, you're literally inverted. You're turned upside down when you go into the game. And it tell I mean, this is one of the first video platforms. And, and you go in the game, and you're turned upside down. And the goal of the game is, you're new in Omicron, and now the goal is you have to find the serial killer before the game ends, or... Ashtaroth, the head of the demons, gets your soul. That's what the video game is. Okay, but when you go in, it inverts you and it turns you upside down. The next, the very next thing you see is a stripper doing a pole dance. Just do the math. I wonder what could possibly be the thing that turned those angels upside down. <laughs> it's like, neither shall you touch it lest you die. So anyway, so you go into Omicron, it inverts you. The first thing you see is a stripper doing a pole dance. And then they tell you that in order to get out of the game, think of the game as your life, you have to find the serial killer before the game ends or you forfeit your soul. And the whole, so you go through this whole game, the whole time right in the right hand corner is the word up. I'm not making this up. The video game has the word up right in the right hand corner the whole time. Showing you that's how you find the serial killer. How did I find the serial killer? I just did it for you on a freaking lurking class shirt. See, they're the lurking class. You have good and evil lurking alongside you everywhere you go. Seeing everything you do everywhere you go. You have a lion attached to the pit to a worm that's feeding off you your entire freaking life. That's why Rob Zombie, have you seen Rob Zombie, Dragula, the worm is turned, while angels slowly turn conquering the worm, Dragula, because he knows the whole human race is in drag, and like Dracula, because the angel of the bottomless pit is like Dracula, but he's in drag wearing a male and female freaking costume to eat angels. Do you get it? Okay, I'm going to show you stuff that is going to blow your mind. I'm going to play, I'm going to play the little clip from Omicron, but what we did was we inserted little answers into the David Bowie clip. And what I mean by that is he'll say something, then we inserted something that if you would have had the mental wherewithal, you would know what he's talking about. And then I'm going to play you the introduction to a, a DVD I did called You Are Exiles, and we used a conglomeration of different TV commercials that were that were out in the public domain at the time, and we interwove them with some of the narratives of these movies. And just watch, just watch and listen. It's so relevant now. It's going to blow your mind. It's insane. Okay, and tonight on Odyssey, I'm doing this. A woman will compass a man, and it's here. It's here. It's militarizing now. It's getting crazy. Okay, look at that, guys. Lurking class. There they are. The upside down. That's the upside down one next to you. That's the upside down twin. See, evil is down. The first one is down. Cain came out first, and then Abel. Evil comes out first, and then good is next into the twin system. Esau, and then Jacob. The elder will serve the younger. The first will serve us, because when we get converted, they become our slaves. You understand? We, we, we triumphed over them because of the blood of the Lamb, only because of Christ. If you don't invert the whole world, you've never seen the truth. I love you in Christ, and I love you enough to tell it to you. I just showed you right here, lurking class. That is out of the Bible, the Isaiah, they lurk alongside you to lie in wait to kill because inside of you is the lurking class. One eye goes to the pit, that's the lurking class. The demon within you that goes to the pit, that's the lurking class. The 2X energy, the twin female from the pit, that's the lurking class. I own this now, guys, and it's over. <laughs> look at that. I mean, look at what you're looking at. Really? 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 Okay, like, <laughs> so stupid. It's like, it's on all this clothing. I have, like, folders full of this stuff. Okay, yeah, let's see. Here we go. Down with my demons. There you go. Lurking class. No biggie. Anyway, I, I don't want to go off on a clothing tangent, but just 
go check it out. Hell is rising right now. This is hell rising into the human host body system. It's fascinating. It is absolutely insane. Okay, now, oh, and check it out. I mean, look at this. I'll just click on it. Look what that is. X is, see the X? The Reaper, they know it's time. They know it's time. That clothing line is is showing you it's time. This is the reaping the end of the world. That's what all this is. This is death rising up out of the grave. Taking over the host body system. It's phenomenal to see. Okay. Okay, now I want to show you something just in... And um, I'll make uh, one this folder available to you guys. It's not yet available to a lot of people. There's a lot of stuff in here that uh, it's just, yeah, I'm, I'm saving it for the Odyssey stuff. And I don't want it to get out in, into uh, a lot of the stuff that's going on on YouTube. So anyway, um, we'll get to this folder. But I want you to know that in this folder is the David Bowie Omicron. So anyway, I'll make that folder available like within the next day. It's it's just packed. It's packed. Okay, here we go. Now, where am I? Okay, so I told you this is a video from David Bowie called Omicron. It's a video game that David Bowie produced, I think, in the 90s. And it's, a, I mean, it's phenomenal to see how it inter, uh, just interlaced with all of society. It's impossible. So anyway, so we're going to use that as a little, you know, intro. And then you can see how we slid in. You'll see like flash tracks slid in when he says, oh, you have to find the killer or the, 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 the serial killer gets your soul or Asteros gets your soul if you don't find the serial killer. See, the serial killer is you. You're the serial killer. The serial killer is inside of you. It just goes down. That's the serial killer inside of you. It's female energy, twin female energy. Inside of you is the killer. And so it's actually in the video. So anyway, we're going to show you that, and I'm going to show you an uh, intro for You Are Exiles, and just watch the... Watch the commercials put together. You may not see some of it at first. Just give it a minute until you watch the whole thing. And <laughs> Okay. Let's try this. Here we go. Let's go. Here we go. Ready? Let's do it. So here you are, the stranger in Omicron, conqueror of demons. A long time ago, I was a human being like you. A demon surprised me in my apartment. He killed both my wife and me. Take this to the edge of time. Take this to the edge. You're not the first video game player to get your soul trapped in this dimension. The survival of your soul is at stake. I want to pause and I, I want you to pay attention to the music. David Bowie conducted all the music, I'm sorry, composed all the music for this video game. And it's, if you listen very carefully, you'll say, you didn't feel us coming. You didn't feel us coming. You didn't feel us coming. That's no different than the Maserati commercial. That's no different than Indiana Jones' uh, crystal skull will slowly turn you into us, Dr. Jones. And the best part of all, You'll never even know it's happening. That's what's happened to the world. They've turned us from heaven into them from the pit. You know the song Us and Them by Pink Floyd? Listen to it a little more carefully. Okay, here we go. Ready? Let's go.
The only way to save your soul is to kill Astaroth. But nobody knows where he hides. Okay, I'm going to pause it there. So, see, that was actually a part of, you know, the Omicron video where he says the only way to uh, uh, win is to catch Astaroth, but no one knows where he lived. Well, the head of the demons. So we put the demon right in front of you. All we did was invert it to show you it's a female. And so that's, these are, this is a very common tattoo. If you want to see um, a very common tattoo, go do, type in inverted female devil tattoo. It goes from female to devil. You just invert it and it's, watch. There it is. So see the female right there with the tongue seen out, serpent. Okay, now let me just go back to here and see it's the devil. It's just her inverted. So look at this. The whole entire video game, look right here. Look what it says right here. I want you to just realize, do you know how insane if you're watching this David Bowie thing and the entire time the answer to get out of the trap is right there on the screen, that's how much they hate you. They hate you that much. What's, what's lurking alongside of you, inside of you, the monster inside of you, which is what you have to kill. And the only way to kill it is to surrender to Jesus and say, I'm sorry. The only way to kill the lurking class is to admit you are wrong. It's the only way to kill it. You admit you're wrong. You deserve your punishment. Then your body's going to die, but you were spiritually reborn because this is spiritual death. This is spiritual rebirth. That goes that way. This goes that way. And then there's those that sell out fully to Satan. They're double downers and they'll lead anyone to the pit because they think they're going to get a payoff for doing it. Little do they know he eats his own. Anyway, so here we go. Let's go back. Again, listen to the background. Listen to the David Bowie background that's going on at this point. I'm going to rewind it just briefly. Listen to the David Bowie background. The only way to save your soul is to kill Astaroth. But nobody knows where he hides. I know where he hides. Oh, hell. I was so scared. A demon came here looking for you. He was really angry. He said he wanted your soul. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Same thing. Imagine. To peer across the world and know the enemy's secrets. To place our thoughts into the minds of your leaders. Make your teachers teach the true version of history. Your soldiers attack on our command. We will be everywhere at once, more powerful in a whisper, invading your dreams, thinking your thoughts for you while you sleep. We will change you, Dr. Jones. All of you, from the inside. We will turn you into us. And the best part? You won't even know it's happened. Same as Lady Gaga. Ah, gotcha. I see you. Your chi will soon be mine. Is he talking to me? Which one? They're all talking. Whoa, you're right. That's so scary. We should try that too. Maybe it'd be scary back at them. Okay, but we gotta plan what we're gonna say first. Otherwise, it won't be scary. It'll just be stupid. It's not them talking. It is. It's me talking through them. Kai! Who? Okay, 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 enough. We wait until they get sleepy. Wait until they get so big they can barely move. Then we walk out of the shadows. Quietly walk out of the dark. And strike. When anyone is guilty of a serious crime and they do not want to be held accountable, their only course of action is to conceal the truth. I'm going to pause this for a minute because I want you to understand why this intro is like this. Do you see that little animal right there? That little 
water buffalo or whatever little calf that is, you are easier prey than that little calf for your lurking class and meat that's inside of you. That's what the Lord's let me expose. Do you understand? The actual source of the energy, the twin female energy from the pit. The Ian Bud Light commercial, remember? Oh, wow, everyone's here's a twin. Hi, I'm Kelly. If I give you this, are you up for whatever happens? Uh-huh. And he takes him, she takes him to a party where he has dates that are twin females. He gets his own twin, so you get your own twin. The killer in me is the killer in you. Do you get it? We all have the same killer inside of us. That's where he hides is inside of you. When you admit your guilt before God and you just say, I'm guilty, I deserve to go to hell, then God will forgive you. He'll invert you, convert you, and you'll see the truth, and then you'll be spiritually reborn, and you'll be ready to go instead of facing the world. You know what's coming for this world right now? Can't you see what's coming? Nuclear war is already here. It's already happened. It's going to happen. It's like it's printed on the money. The Lord let me show it all to you before it got here. And now it's here. And I just want you to get up. I don't want anyone to suffer with what's coming, guys. That's why I'm still sitting here doing this. I mean, I already know. I already know. I've been converted. I'm converted. I operate in almost all the spiritual gifting there is. So I'm not worried about my soul. I'm not doing this for my soul. I'm doing this for your souls. And, you know, maybe you can pass this on to someone that's lost or doesn't know what's going on but i'm showing you this right now because i'm going to show you this clip right now it'll be 20 minutes of what you're going to watch right now i'm showing you this conglomeration from uh the the ur exiles dvd and if you just sit there and let it all build on itself and just sit there and watch for a while the avocados from mexico commercial during the super bowl they told you you were self-cannibalizing in the commercial they told you you are self-cannibalizing in the commercial. Avocados from Mexico. But the Smirnoff commercial, it's all, it's all going to be in what you're about to see. Just put it all together mentally. The, the movie with Guy Pierce. How do the ones below survive? <laughs> they eat the sheep inside of you. The serpent race inside of you eats the sheep race inside of you. The serpent race, the twin female from the pit race that started the host body system, eats the sheep, the angelic part of you. Do you get it? It's an angel and a demon in the same body. That's what the Bible says. Ephesians 2, a superhuman angel demon spirit is running you. That's why you got to get converted to the Holy Spirit. Instead of a superhuman angel demon, you get converted to the Holy Spirit and the two become one and you're safe. I want you to be safe. Okay, now watch. Just watch this. You're an easier prey than this little ca this little calf right here. I just want you to think about that. Okay, here we go. Let's start this. Here you go. Ready? When anyone is guilty of a serious crime and they do not want to be held accountable, their only course of action is to conceal. Insane concealed it. And you're part of that. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. <laughs> I know that after my departure, fierce wolves will come in among you, not sparing the flock. Behold, I am sending you out as sheep in the midst of wolves, so be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. Avocados from Mexico. Put these on. Look, you crazy mother. Put these on. Hey, stay away from me.
not enough that you, that you hunt them down like animals. That's their role here. To be your food. Eat them! Yes. And for those who are suitable to be breeding vessels. And for those who are suitable to be breeding vessels. At least they don't know about subliminal advertising. That's not even a thing, right? Eat them! That's their role here. To be your food. Yes. Eat them! Why is the Vatican a snake? Why would you build a building in the shape of a snake? Bread ourselves. Why are they all about big families? Some to be our muscles, with bread to be predators, but bread also to be controlled. The Vatican's a snake eating angels. Put these on. Upside down female Control reproductive thought. system. To hunt them down like animals. That's their role here. To be your food. Yes. And for those who are suitable to be. Vessels. What did you see, Clarice? What did you see? Lambs. They were screaming. The silence of the lambs. They were slaughtering the spring lambs. And they were screaming. first son of a bitch to wake up out of their dream. The human body generates more bioelectricity than a 120 volt battery and over 25,000 BTUs of body heat. Combined with a form of fusion, the machines had found all the energy they would ever need. I want to pause it so you understand what you're looking at. Do you understand that that's Beyonce. She was pregnant with twins. She had a custom dress made that had the Ouroboros going around her twins in her own belly with an isotoxyl star at the bottom. Do you know how insane that is, what you're looking at? She literally had embroidered an Ouroboros around her own set of twins with an isotoxyl three-pointed star underneath of it. Do you know what isotoxyl means? Go look up isotoxyl. 
edge transitive becoming your own reflection like good becoming evil will turn you into us dr jones and the best part of all you'll never even know it's happening because the human race just gets more evil by the day it's just a slow boiling of the frog boiling 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 and eventually there's no good left in the system you know like your love turns to rust in the end, the love of many will wax cold because iniquity will abound because love will run cold. And that's what's happening in the world right now. If you can't see it, you're deaf, dumb, and blind. That's why I find it fascinating. Some of these channels that say, oh, they're Christian. Go read them. They're all hate. They're that delusional. Anyway, here we go. Let's go back. Ouroboros. See the eye right here? See the eye? See the open mouth? Do you see the profile of the female she's got an isotoxal star on her freaking stomach that do you know how sick this is do you know how freaking twisted this is right here to have this on you and you're pregnant with twins look at that an ouroboros female twin system with the isotoxal star okay you're not evil there you go no big deal guys there's We are grown. For the longest time, I wouldn't believe it. Cain Abel. And then I saw the fields with my own eyes. Cain and Abel. Watched them liquefy the dead so they could be fed intravenously to the living. And standing there, facing the pure, horrifying precision, I came to realize the obviousness of the truth. And what we've been doing with the egg and the rebirth, uh, yeah. it's meant to signify a, an artistic statement of birthing a new race, uh, a race within the race of humanity, a race within the race of humanity. A race within the race of humanity. Can you tell me what's happening here? Well, my sources are no longer fully annotated and my information is somewhat anecdotal. But I believe what was once one race is now two. One above and one below. Two distinct species that have evolved. And how do those below survive? That is the real question, isn't it? He uh, winks and bleeds like a sheep. Well, if you don't like the answers, you should avoid asking the questions. We're birthing a new race. What is the Matrix? The Matrix is a computer-generated dream world built to keep us under control in order to change a human being into this. No. I don't believe it. It's not possible. I didn't say it would be easy, Neo. I just said it would be the truth. Stop! Let me out! We have taken the hearts and minds of our leaders. They have recruited the rich and the powerful, and they have blinded us to the truth. Our human spirit is corrupted. Why do we worship greed? Because outside the limit of our sight, feeding off us, perched on top of us from birth to death, are our owners. Our owners. They have us. They control us. They are our masters. Wake up. They're all about you. All around you. The first thing a new race. A race within the race of humanity. Yeah, so no big deal, really. Just, you know, birthing a new race, a race within the race of humanity. Um, it says in Job 25, then how can a man be justified with God? 
Look at the word God, El, the Almighty God. It is not Elohim. It's El, the Almighty God. Then how can man be justified with God, or how can he be clean that is born of a woman? Because the system is corrupt. And behold, even to the moon, and it shineth not, yea, the stars are not pure in his sight. So even the stars are not pure because we are the stars. See, a prince. I've shown it to you in the Taylor Swift Sitting on the ceiling, devils roll the dice, angels roll their eyes, a star, Cole Cobb, you saw it in the Taylor Swift thing. How can a man be justified with God, El, the Almighty God? How can he be clean that's born of a woman? Behold, even to the moon, and it shineth not. Yea, the stars are not pure. The stars, God's princes, are not pure to be transparent, clean physically or morally. Now you know it's one of his princes, morally. You see it right there? Physically or morally, to be translucent, because we are light beings, to be innocent, because we are God's angels. Do you see it? To be innocent, right there. So, yes, we're the stars. I told you, the night under the stars where God broke the lid off everything. And how much less is man that is a woman, I mean, that is a worm. So here it is. Yea, the stars are not pure in his sight, and how much less man that is a worm. Look at that, man that is a worm. In the sense of breeding, a maggot has rapidly bred. And then it says, and how much less the son of man, which is a worm. And look at that. A maggot as voracious. The crimson grub. You see it says right there, the crimson grub. Do you know that's right out of Revelation 17? And the woman in scarlet. So he carried me away in spirit into the wilderness. And I saw a woman. The woman. See the woman. Specifically a wife of who, I wonder. Specifically a wife. The woman, I saw the woman. I'm talking about the overall male female energy. So when I don't want people to go, who's the wife? The whole think of the earth as the wife and the energy that comes into it is the husband. Try and let your brain just expand a little bit. Okay, so he carried me in spirit into the wilderness, and I saw the woman sit upon the scarlet colored beast. Welcome to the host body system. Look at the word scarlet. Ready? Look. From the kernel shape of the insect, do you see it? Scarlet, from the kernel shape of the insect. Crimson colored scarlet. Okay, because, guys, the host body system is only in a system that houses two spirits, an angel and a demon. Now you understand it's an illusion. The whole thing's an illusion. Look, here's Michelangelo's carving at the Medici castle. You see the worm coming out of the human host body there. Who would carve that? Let me show you some more like lurking class clothing. Broken promises. It's what's inside that counts. What's coming out of the female rubber doll? Uh, a demon. That's where the demonic energy comes from, from the pit. Twin female energy. You see, let me show you the pit. You see that? You see the pit? What's coming out of it? You see that thing that's really voracious looking that looks like it's eating these sperm that have triangle heads? Okay, well, from the other side, let's see. Let's see something that matches that. Well, Miley Cyrus sure matches that. And that's a bag from Zoomies. The same skate shop where I just showed you lurking class. So here, even in a skate shop, look, they know there's another dimension. What's coming out of it? The worm that never dies. See the worm? What's it eating? Sperm. What's down here? A dead sheep. I wonder what the odds are that on a bag from the mall where you buy skateboard paraphernalia, you have all these things. I mean, really? Here's a dead sheep right there. Just take it right over to there. There's a dead sheep. You have this dimensional worm coming out that's eating things. Having a little bit of a glitch here. Okay, 39 to 41. Okay, quick timestamp issue, guys. Okay, here we go. Let's do it again. 
So anyway, here you go. The same agenda on a on the Zoomies bag. Well, let's look at Shaggy and Scooby Doo. What's coming out of uh, the turkey breast on the wall? This is the Scooby Doo movie, guys. Here you go. And Scooby and Shaggy are pinned to the wall, and they're what's for dinner. And they're pinned to the wall, and these things on the wall that look like Miley Cyrus. Uh, this looks just like the Miley Cyrus thing, doesn't it? It sure does. And sausages in the Miley Cyrus thing with a worm coming out of the center of it is what's got Shaggy and Scooby pinned to the wall. Okay, let me ask you a question. Do you know how insane that is, what I just showed you? Scooby and Shaggy pinned to the wall by wieners and a big turkey breast opening up that looks like labia with the worm coming out, where the worm never dies. From the dimension, same as the Zoomies back. <sighs> no big deal, bro. Uh, well, that's kind of weird because Miley Cyrus has the same thing going on as the Zoomies bag. Same thing going on as Scooby-Doo. That's kind of crazy. Same thing going on as the Women's March. This kitty bites back. Wow. And the same thing going on over and over and over again in various ways, shapes, and forms like they're the hunters because they are. Here's a video I did a while back. It's called The Deceit of Woman. And this girl makes this diorama and makes this creature and it has a woman up here and it puts, he, she puts her in the water right under the edge of the water and right under the edge of the water is this giant monster just waiting to get the soldiers that walk up to offer to help her. And this is the girl painting the whole thing. It's called the deceit of a woman. There you go. Because the pit is that deceitful. And here's a good example of what I'm talking about. That's the idea of the deceit lurking class, uh, female energy. Here's a nice representation of it. There's a bug insect dressed as the virgin. Neither shall you touch it lest you die. Here's an Octavia Butler book called Blood Child. Huh, that's weird. He looks like he's having sex with an insect girl. Well, that would be correct, according to the Vatican and all the other stuff I've shown you, that the Vatican is an insect. It's a giant insect harvesting semen, and that's the female and male reproductive systems. So that would go along with everything else that I've shown you, including Lady Gaga's dress from the Oscar Awards, including this other dress I just happened to look over and see when I was in Houston with Alvini. It's all bugs, 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 more bugs and bugs. And what's in the pit? What does it say in Job? What did Job say again? What did Job say? What was it that it said in Job? Job 25, yeah. And how much less, Job 25, how much less man that is a worm? And how much less man? Man, so the stars are not pure in his sight. And how much less is man pure than a that is a worm. So see, we are a worm. And that's why the Vatican's a big bug on the inside, harvesting dead, harvesting a dead sheep. That's all God's angels. Because God's angels came into the host body system and you got attached to a worm. Told you. I've been telling you this now for years. I've The Lord let me draw a model of it. He literally let me make a model of it before he gave me all the scriptures and all the scriptures back it up. One eye goes to the star. One eye goes to the pit, to your own locust, your own worm, your own caterpillar that's feeding off you, perched on top of you from life until death, no different than the movie they live. But you just couldn't see it. But the Lord allowed me to make it visible for you. That's why I had a clothing, I'm, that's why I had a vision company called Vlad Eyewear, Vampire Sunglasses, before I got saved, come out of the darkness into the light with Vlad Eyewear. What do you think the odds are that the guy speaking to you actually had a, a vision company called Vlad Eyewear come out of the darkness into the light with Vlad Eyewear. And that's when the Lord called me to service. <laughs> okay, whatever. Anyway, so I'm just making the point. So now I'm going to crack open some more scriptures. Um, not in this video. I'm just going to ram this thing home, though. I mean, you know, you can't argue with it. It's just too obvious now. So at the Vatican, at the Vatican, the pillar... There it is. So see, it's a locust. There's the locust. What comes out of the pit? The locust. Who runs the pit? The serpent race. Oh, wow. That's why inside of this big building that's a serpent called the Vatican, look at the post. They're locusts because locusts come out of the pit. And these big columns make DNA and they have bugs on them. Yep. 
that's why girls dresses look like bugs because it's true there were the female energies attached to the pit that's why there's artwork done like this that's very disturbing but now you understand why someone would be able to produce that artwork because it's true there's a lot of truth to it that's why the steering wheel in our cars even looks very strange like the head of a bug no different than the bug that's in the vatican no different than this bug right here why is the steering wheel right here the same is a, the head of a bug. Now let's look at some other steering wheels that haven't been digitally, <laughs> haven't been artistically enhanced. There's another steering wheel. Does that look like a bug? Does this one look like a bug? Do they all look like bugs? So let me ask you this. Why do all these steering wheels look like insects with mandibles? Why? Do you ever consider the artificial intelligence part of the thing is female? Oh. Uh-huh. Forty-seven. So anyway, on and on and on it goes. And it's, I mean, it's so obvious now. It's just, it's pretty laughable. So now the, the job for the virgin was to kill the sheep. And the virgin represents the, the reptilian race, the female reptilian race, twin parthenogenesis, twin female. Starts the human race, begins a breeding population, male and female. Angels come into it, life and death join together. The whole history of the world is life and death mixed together in one host body. If you don't turn back to God and get reborn of the spirit, then you go into eternal death. So now the mystery is solved, completely solved. It is easy to, it to show it. And I don't want to argue with it. Uh, here, let me help you out. The Bible says in John chapter 9, Jesus heals a blind man. He said, for this reason, I've come into the world that those that see might not see and those that see not might might see. He said, I've come to judge the world and to give sight to the blind and show those that think they see that they are blind. So then the Jews and the arrogant ones around said, oh, are you saying that we're blind? And Jesus said, if you were blind, you wouldn't be guilty. But your guilt remains because you claim you can see. So their guilt before the Lord God and their condemnation is that the light had shined and they refused to come to the light. And if you can't see the simplicity of the Vatican being a snake and the mouth of the snake being a dead sheep and you can't see all that, then you just can't see. It's, I mean, you, you don't have any, you don't have any ability to see. If you cannot see the simplicity that the virgin is a dead sheep and that doesn't make you go, something's very wrong here. Why is the virgin a dead sheep? And you're like, well, whatever, it doesn't mean anything. Well, then the light's not on and there's no light on in you. And I'm just being blunt. If, if, if it's not easy to discern and understand, well, why are these things like this? And you don't want to know the answers, then yeah, you're walking around in darkness. That's why Jesus said he's come to open the dungeons of those that are in the darkness of the blind. And the opening of dungeons, the dungeon means the redoubling of your eyes. So your eyes get redoubled, one up, one down. One goes to heaven, they're dimensional troughs. This eye of mine is a dimensional trough to heaven. The other one used to go to the pit. It got inverted, now I can see. It's pretty obvious, it's pretty simple. Did you see the lurking class at the beginning of this video? I mean, did you guys see that? It's like, oh, that's an upside down skull. Yeah, with another face attached to it because it got the angel. Do you get it? So it's two in one, get it? And they're coming up out of the pit. That's what's going on right now. And we have this gender takeover through the host body system, and it's just going to get insane. You just watch, guaranteed. It's going to get so crazy. It's going to be a gender takeover. And don't you find it weird that, you know, the president and his alleged paramour, I'll just say the word paramour, the guy that used to be president, that they were able to cover up the whole married to a transgender thing during two presidencies. Do you know what it took to accomplish that? Do you know the level of deceit that it took to accomplish what Joan Rivers said? We all know Michael's a tranny. Do you know what it took to keep the lid on that and the lies that were told? Why? If it's no big deal, why hide it? Here comes a takeover. I love you guys in Christ. Um, yeah, on Odyssey, things are going to get crazy now. Watch. This is you. Love you in Christ.
<laughs> anyway, yeah, keep an eye on the channel. I'm going to be uh, uploading as much as I can. All right.